Well, it's lovely to be able to chat with you about the show. I've seen the first two episodes and thought it was just wonderful and really Aww. interesting and different. Um, so uh, do you want to just uh, start by explaining a little bit about who you are, are playing in the in the series? If uh, um, Come to Emily, to you first. Sure. Um, so I play Maria, who is Neve's mother. She is the mother of the victim, the murdered yeah. girl. <laughs> yeah. self yeah, the self-explanatory. Yeah. And Alex? So, uh, I play Daniel, uh, Neve's stepdad, and um, he has kind of experienced some trauma himself in, um, in previous years. So this kind of new event is kind of earth shattering for him as much you know, for the incident itself, but also for what it brings back from the past. And uh, Matthew. And I play Neve's estranged alcoholic father. <laughs> uh, he's a bit of a, I guess he's an outsider within his own, because it's, it's quite a close knit community. He's from there. I don't, are you guys from? No. Um, no. Yeah, so they're not from that town, but Tom's from there, but he's sort of now, I guess he's distanced from it. Yeah. From yeah and you get a very interesting twist in that first episode i'm not sure how we kind of talk about this without like spoiling it but um yeah. yes uh you have a connection to um neve uh, yeah other it's than weird. being a daughter i know it is it's weird, weird for tom because tom sort of he's, he's lost the connection with his daughter through throughout as she's grown up and as she's become her own her own woman and her own person tom's been there less and less um, as a parent. Um, but then in losing her, he kind of, I don't know, he gets the chance to reconcile things um, for, you know, in, in past relationships, his relationship with Neve as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know how to explain <laughs> it. No. You get a chance to make amends and do things yeah. the right way. Yeah, he try. Yeah, he tries to, to make amends uh, in the, the wrongs that he's done throughout um, her life. Um, yeah. Yeah. No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I, I mean, th this is obviously a sort of murder mystery, but I mean, as we know from the publicity stuff, Neve is sort of not well dead, but kind of not dead w were there any rules explained to you on how that would work that sort of ghost character um i think it was kind of all there in the script um it was pretty clear about who could connect with her and who who couldn't um uh i, I think you know it's a really interesting twist on this story um where she gets to take back the the control of of the narrative um, you know, she's not just a victim. She is the person who is going to solve this crime. And, um, and yeah, I think that was kind of the main, the main rule really is that she's, she's not this sort of like silent victim. She's very much a, a voice within her own story. We def definitely had some rules to the universe. Like I always get really annoyed when you're kind of like, so wait, so the Dracula, like, oh, so they don't get killed by the sun now. Oh, and stakes don't work. So, okay, so what, what worked? Oh, a silver bullet, that's werewolves. Why is it working? You know, I, yeah. I, I like to know that there are concrete rules to the universe. And um, so I was like, so wait, so, so when she breaks something, how come that, you know, and so I, I definitely wanted to, to, to yeah. know because, and um and all those questions were answered. They sort of worked it all out very sort of specifically. And it's almost like she's kind of you know in a kind of like string theory, almost like she's in a parallel universe that's kind of working alongside ours. And she sort of slipped out of ours, and she's kind of there on another plane almost. But right. she so she still gets to interact with ours, but she exists almost like on in her own plane. Um, and that's that's the kind of simplest way to explain it. And so some some people are kind of open and susceptible to kind of feeling the energy of, of presence on another plane, um, you know, and other people aren't. And and you kind of discover how, how people become able to 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 kind of to sense that other plane as well through the story. 
And the rules were like revealed to us in the same way that it might be to the audience as well. As we got this, the further scripts were like, oh, right. So that that's where they're going. That's why that happens. That's, you know, so we kind of, we weren't aware of the rules from, because we only got the first two episodes to begin with. Um, right. I think there were basic elements that we can, we were told and, um, and that you can kind of judge from what happens, but um, there were, I guess, more solid rules later on. I asked because I was I was like I was like, no. you're nosy. I'm, I'm just like, you'd have to tell me like you know all everything, but I just wait. I just need to because obviously sometimes you you just want to make sure that you kind of as an actor. I think personally, I, I needed to feel like I could kind of understood the landscape of the piece, um, and so yeah, well, it was always like okay. So once we got all the rules in place, then I feel relaxed a little bit, you know. But um, yeah, it, rest assured, it all you you discover all as the story kind of like fulfills itself. Good, good. Yeah, I'm very much like you in that. Like, well, why why is that happening? And why <laughs> yeah, is that? yeah. So yeah, I that's that's good. Um, in terms of uh, obviously uh, with Emily, with your character, the, uh, well, but all of you really, you're dealing with um, the loss of a child. Um, what what sort of research did you do into that? Did you did you talk to people, or was you, or was it just to sort of did you just kind of go with it? Um, I didn't I didn't talk to people, so it was sort of a, a combination of my own experiences of grief, um, uh, reading lots, watching people who have been in that situation, and you know those sort of like television appeals. Um, uh, and then, um, yeah, just sort of connecting with the story. I mean, I'm a mother, so the very idea is horrifying to me. Mm. Um, so, you know, you don't sort of, I suppose, essentially our job as actors is to put ourselves in other people's shoes and, and imagine yourselves in that situation. So, um, yeah, it's sort of a combination of all those things. And then the writing was so strong. Um, it allows you to, to sort of just go there you know and 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 explore the story as the character yeah um it, it's based on a belgian series i think originally that's right yeah. had, had, had any of you seen or have any of you seen since that that original series no i'd, I'd heard like amazing things about the show and um there were a couple of cast members who who just had happened to see it and um and said great things about it but it felt like it was its own story Right. And I didn't kind of want to prejudice what we were doing. I, I knew that the sort of team at Sky had taken this source material and, and tried to make something, you know, unique with it. And usually, I don't know about you, but I, I always get a little bit pissed off with remakes. And I'm always like, oh, you should have just left the original. Can't people just read subtitles? But being in one, <laughs> you know, I was um, changed my mind. Yeah. But, um, it's but a job, I, you say. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, you know, <laughs> but, but um, you know, but I know sincerely, I kind of was you know, very aware that Sky wanted to do something, you know, new and unique and make it, obviously a, a, it's it's a British story now, it's very embedded in kind of, you know, our, our way of life, so to speak, and, you know, setting it up in the Lake District and, and it's a completely different landscape. You know, it's it's a it's an epic scale that I don't think people have seen in UK drama for, for quite a long time. And, and we've still got this kind of, you know, something that we do brilliantly, kind of that sort of, you know, real kind of down to earth human stories, but the supernatural element and just the sheer um, scope of it I, I was incredibly attractive. And, and, you know, so it felt like we, we can just focus on this story and tell this story and, and, and it will be, you know, brilliant and it's, and, 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 and unique all of itself, you know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think Alex put it brilliantly. I, yeah. Mm. Well, <laughs> yeah, and I think because it's starting on it, <laughs> she's got. Don't let her off the hook. No, no, no. But actually, you do the similar thing. So, no, no. <laughs> tell me what, what was your... <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to watch it because you don't want to accidentally steal things. You know, yeah. Um, when yeah. Actors are magpies. We're always taking yeah. things mm. from like other places. Yeah, and... you have to watch your wallet. Around yeah, there. yeah. Well, you watch it's... your emotional wallet around actors. Yeah. You'll be thinking, oh, I could use that it's, or something. It's... And yeah, well, in the, like in Versa, like if you see something really good, you're like, oh, that's really good, but I don't want to copy it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, so now what do I do? So just don't watch it. So yeah, but but Alex put it much more eloquently than 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 I can. So. But it was nice to have the confidence of a successful show to to kind of start from. Um, yeah, although it's always unique and original um with 
what how they've adapted it, it's it's obviously come from a very successful, um, well respected yeah. piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I I look forward to seeing the rest of it because I really love the first two episodes. Oh, so thank much. you. Yeah. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it. Yes, I'm I'm sure I will. I thought that they were great, so uh, I look forward to to see more.